He said that before winning his races, he used to eat chicken nuggets. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> the worst dancer. I don't know why. i just seen him straight away. I've got to go Jamie Carragher. Oh, you are so right. You know what? I've left out Maradona. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. One of the best players I ever played with. You had to be on your game just to kind of not put her to shame. We're spinning the wheel and first we're landing on Celeb. Imagine having these players to actually pick from. You know what? I'm going to go Tom Grennan. Yeah. A serious player. He was brilliant. Player last, of the yeah, match last yeah, year. Yeah. Big goal. I'm going to I'm going to put him on the wing cuz I've seen him cut in a lot and have a lot of shots. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Any player or celeb. Okay. Based purely on being the team DJ. I feel like you'd be a good well, DJ. There's a few, you isn't there? You know yeah. what? I used to do like 70s and 80s. It's... So when the newer players come into the squad, they kicked us off. Really? Yeah. Exactly. No, we need to educate the kids. Exactly. I'm going to go Liam Payne. Okay. I like a bit of One Direction. Right. So yeah. Right, right. And okay. I want the team to be chilled going out. You okay. Know what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay. But what would you be happy with him constantly just playing One Direction? Or yeah, you... I just want them chilled. You just want yeah, One Direction. Yeah, okay, and he good. can throw in a few of his uh, solo hits. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I don't know what position he actually plays, but because he looks like he's got a captain's armband on, I'm going to put him as a centre half. I like it. He I can like dictate. It. No, good, good. And now it's time for Legend. Yeah. Take oh, your pick. there's Take your so pick. many, so many. Many. You know what? I always wanted to play midfield because of Roy Keane, so he has to be in there. Amazing. And I need someone who's going to smash people, so I'm Proper going for enforcer. Roy Keane. So tell, tell me, what was it about Roy that made you? Oh, I loved watching him, and he just kind of, yeah, I just feel like he always dominated games. And you know what? People always thought he was the one that smashed people, but he scored some pretty good goals as well. Absolutely. We're back on legend again, back to back legends. Legend again. Are you gonna okay. have a, are you gonna have like a, a world class centre mid pairing? Oh. Are you gonna mix it up? What's well, going very on? good friend of mine, one of the best players I've played with, England's most capped. We've got to go for Farrah Williams. The most capped England player of all time. She has to be in there, has to be. Incredible, dictating the play with Roy. Do you reckon yeah. she might have a go at Roy if he's not pulling his weight? Uh, yeah, she would. She tells everybody. She used to be the one that would tell everybody. If you weren't doing your job, then you knew Farrah would be the one getting on it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We've landed on the wild card now. Oh, wild card. This it can be anybody. Anyone dead or alive. It can be oh. in the entertainment game, in the sports game. Okay. They don't even have to have touched a football in their life. I wasn't actually lucky enough to see him um, play a lot of games, but what I heard and clips from YouTube has to be George Best. Oh, Georgie George Best. George Best. I and love I it. feel like watching his technical ability, he's going to play in the 10 for me. And you know what? You've got Tom Grennan and Liam Payne there as well, though, those, you know, that rock star vibe. George Best was the original rock star. Yeah, exactly. I reckon he could teach Tom and Liam a bit a bit about that. And lifestyle. we all need to be singing off the same hymn sheet, don't oh, we? Oh, there you go. What? There you go. Take not, no. no. She's not Queen of the Jungle for nothing, you know. <laughs> Come on, I like it. So what, what formation are we shaping up into? Uh, I think we're gonna go for like a 4-3-3. Okay. I think, yeah. I like it. Total so, football. I yeah. like it. Alright, now we've got a player or a celeb purely based on who would be the worst dancer. The worst dancer? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why, I've just seen him straight away. I've got to go Jamie Carragher. Oh, you are so right. I don't know why. This guy looks so stiff. I've you know, never okay. seen him dancing, but yeah, I'm going to put him. Actually, because you said he's stiff, he's going to center off. I mean, uh, just an Sorry opinion. Sorry to all I'm center sure I'm sure you've got looser hips than I'm giving you credit for, but you know, you just seem stiff, Jamie. I wouldn't I mean? tell him that to his face. No, neither either, would I. So. And we're back on celeb. You know what? I think I might go goalkeeper and I'll go Paddy McGuinness. Big call. The big man between he's the got, He's got good banter and obviously he, he um, leads on a lot of uh, quiz shows and stuff sure. like that. So again, I need a lot of people talking at the sure. back. Right. Now we've got a celeb or a player based on purely being the best motivator. So when I played with Kelly Smith, who again, one of the best players I ever played with, she didn't really motivate in terms of shouting and stuff like that. And I think we've got a lot of that going on. Sure. But she led by example with her performances. So in Incredible. terms of motivating, you had to be on your game just to kind of 
not put her to shame. Is there a rhyme in there somewhere? Yeah, oh, so, Wait, what's <laughs> happening here? What's that, the, 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 are you using this soccer aid opportunity to like maybe launch a musical career? I think this could be a banger. I think I, I just like... nearly fell off my chair, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kelly Smith, it's because I seen George Best 10 with Kelly Smith Madness. 9. Man. I was Listen, gone. All right, we go again for legend. You know what? I've left out Maradona <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, legend. Right, okay. Well, it has to be the one and only Roberto Carlos RC3. at left back. He can have the free kicks as well. What a guy. I what let a him. Guy. He was amazing, wasn't he? What? I always think about that free kick, how far it went out of the post and back in. Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolute Unbelievable. legend. All right, we've got one here. Someone who would go in based on being the funniest. Funniest. We've got some comedians in here, but maybe maybe you're thinking funny in another way. Who yeah, knows? well, I know I should really give it to a comedian, but I'm going to think outside the box and he always makes me laugh and I need speed on the wing. So I'm going for Usain Bolt. Let's go. The fact that he said that before winning his races, he used to eat chicken nuggets. Like, <laughs> come on, that's funny in itself. A man so. of the people, man yeah. of the people. And you know what? What, what? what is so amazing to me is when you mentioned Usain, it was like, he always makes me laugh. Usain and Jill Scott linking up together just seems like amazing to me. <laughs> and I feel like Soccer Aid is one of the only places on the planet that that happens. So. Yeah, but imagine trying to chase him. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, I'm not getting paid for that. So no, I'm, I'm not going to be chasing Usain at all. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pull my hammy. But yeah. we've got one very important position to fill, yeah. and uh, I'm going to leave it to you to take your pick. Actually. Oh, anybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This is your team, after all. Okay. Oh, I feel bad that I've left Carly Lloyd out as well. We had so many good midfielders. You know what? Because growing up, obviously a massive England fan, and whenever I think of right back, I do think of Gary Neville. So I'm going for Gary Neville. And I've got to keep him away from Carragher. So I'm going to play him this side because I feel like they'll just argue. I'm sensing a dysfunction here, but then I feel like Gary Neville and Roberto Carlos will bring things together. Yeah, well, you've got to think of past relationships as well. So I think Gary Neville, Roy Keane will have had that at Man United. Farrer and Kelly obviously had that at England. So yeah, I think this is going to work. Well, listen, this is a pretty solid lineup. Let's review it. Let's go for the goalkeeper. We've got big Paddy McGuinness in between the sticks. We've got a centre-back pairing of Liam Payne and Jamie Carragher. We've got the full-backs, RC3, one of the greatest of all time, followed by Gary Neville, who wasn't too bad himself. Talk to me about this. This is what uh, I'm most excited about. Well, Roy's going to absolutely smash them and then give the ball <laughs> to Farah, who I think we used to call our sat-nav foot. Should just send the ball wherever you want it. I love and it. And I think if she can find Usain Ball out wide with his pace, in the box for Kelly Smith. Maybe Kelly Smith makes a front run and then George Best just comes in top corner, honestly. Yo, I'm listen. excited, when Yo, training. Listen, we're going, we're going for like a serious <laughs> technical analysis here. I like it. It's a pretty special team. And listen, we've got some serious goats in there as well. So you're happy with it? Yeah, I'm you very reckon, excited. You reckon this team could take on any Anybody. other from the Soccer Idol Soccer Anybody. Idol alumni? Look at that front line. Yeah. No, it's pretty special. It's pretty special. Well, listen, guys, that was Spin the Squad with Jill Scott. Remember, Soccer Aid is on the 11th of June and you can get your tickets now. Adults, £20. Kids, £10. There's no reason for you not to be there. So we'll see you soon.